Hi, my name's Chris from Adretto, Melbourne, and I'm here to talk to you about the high-end BCDs we have in store here. Um, this is getting into the fun stuff. All this stuff is super comfortable, makes diving a lot easier. Uh, the difference between a high-end and a low-end BCD is the comfort, the way it bears the weight on your back, whether you're diving in Melbourne and you've got a 7mm suit and you've got a lot of lead there. Also, your big tank on the back, something like this is actually going to make it feel a lot lighter and more comfortable to dive and walk with on those shore dives. Um, this here is the Oceanic Atmos. It does come in two styles. There's a female's version of this, uh, called the Hera. These here are actually a hybrid. So the advantage of a rear inflation BCD is that you get all the lift in the back and puts you in perfect trim. But it does mean that when waiting on the surface of the water, you're also eating the water. So a jacket inflation will actually mean on the surface you can sit there nice and straight. But underwater you might have to fight that inflation a little bit as it wants to turn around. Um, best of both worlds here in the Atmos and the Hera is the hybrid. So a little bit of air through the back as you're diving. You're actually going to sit there and dive like a rear inflation. But as you get to the surface and want to wait for the boat, you fully inflate it. And you're actually going to fill up and sit there like a jacket. This here is super comfortable with a tank on your back. Uh, the way the arm straps are actually positioned is a lot closer up underneath your arm here. So it means that it's going to bear the weight a lot easier and you're going to have little rotation in the BCD to control you while you're diving. Um, this here has got integrated weight pockets and you've got your trim weights on the back. That is the Oceanic Biolite. Next up here is arguably my favourite BCD in the shop. This here is a full rear inflation called the Aqualung Dimension. This here has actually minimalised everything in the back plate, making that tank a lot closer to your spine. Being your centre of gravity is a lot closer, making it super light and super comfortable. It's got a thing called the Rapture Harness, so that actually sits on your skin there. Being a rear inflation, you actually fully inflate it and you still get no squeeze through the jacket or anything at the front, as that's just the harness. Um, big metal D-rings to hold weight and to hold stage bottles. Integrated weights trim weights in the back. This here is super, super comfortable. I much prefer diving in a rear inflation than a jacket BCD. The strap here is located on the bottom, which stops the tail from kicking out, making it a lot closer to your spine, being that center of gravity again, holding it nice and straight. And typically someone will put this on to stand straight upright compared to something that might not be able to hold the weight too well and actually cause you to lean forward or back. Um, that there is probably my favourite one in the shop. Super, super comfortable, and that is the Aqualong Dimension. Last option here is the Hollis HD 200. This is a tech BCD. So it's designed here for single, weight, uh, single tanks. We have a horseshoe inflation on the back. Downfall of a horseshoe inflation there is actually that if the air is situated on one point and you want to let that air out, you actually have to rotate your full body to bring the highest point either here or here to actually deflate your BCD. Um, compared to a donut which is a full circuit, it's going to be a lot easier to deflate a donut. So that's just one disadvantage with this BCD. Being a tech BCD, it actually has a harness built in through it as well. That minimalises the movement in your BCD, keeping it nice and flush to your body, and also less rotation while diving. Um, we do have tr weight pockets in here, no need to wear a weight belt. We've got some decent pockets here on the side. Everything is stainless steel and solid. Um, not a light BCD, probably the heaviest one we've got so far, but this is not so much a travelling BCD, but very, very durable. Uh, that's the Hollis HD 200. This was my three favourite BCDs in the shop, all high-end, and thanks for listening.